I would like to give a shout out to Laverne Merriweather for informing me of this particular story right here. If you are not familiar with the person in this image, this is Redmond O'Neill. If you don't know who Redmond O'Neill is, I'm sure you may be familiar with his with his father, Ryan O'Neill. And if you're not familiar with Ryan O'Neill, then I'm sure you're familiar with Ryan O'Neill's ex, Farrah Fawcett, who was famously known for being one of the trio in the hit television series of the 70s known as Charlie's Angels, who passed away on the same day as Michael Jackson, by the way, back in 2009. But of course, her death got overshadowed because when Michael died, everybody completely forgot about Farrah Fawcett because, you know, she died before he did. They died the same day, but she died hours before he did. And her death completely got overshadowed. To this point, a lot of people still forgot that she even died that day. But this video is not so much about her. It's about their son, Redmond O'Neill, who you see in this picture. And how he has just been recently charged with attempted murder. Now, this guy has a criminal past because I remember there was a special on Farrah Fawcett when she was on her deathbed. Because she died of um, cancer of the rectum. And I said... I said, that's possible, but you know, you can get cancer anywhere. And I said, well, that pretty much lets me know what she was engaging in in her lifetime. But you know, back then, people were really wild and free. But um, I remember watching a special and Ryan O'Neill had arranged it with the courts for, for their son to come and see her on her deathbed. And he was in jail at the time and he had to be, he was wearing his, uh, his, his, you know, the, the, uh, prison uniform, the orange, but he also had the chains on him too. But see, Farrah Fawcett was such in a bad condition that she didn't even know that her son was in jail. So to avoid her asking questions, cause she was laid down on the bed, uh, Ryan O'Neill had told him to pick up the chain so they wouldn't drag on the floor and wouldn't clink. So they wouldn't make any noise. So she wouldn't ask what, like, why did you have chains on your wrist and on your feet? Um, you know, especially with the state that she was in. But anyway, he has now been charged with attempted murder. Um, it says for two counts of assault with a deadly weapon, one count of criminal threats, one count of brandishing a knife, and one count of battery. This is the son of the late Farrah Fawcett and Ryan O'Neill on Friday was arrested and charged with attempted murder among a slew of other crimes in connection to a violent spree in Southern California, Los Angeles police said. Redmond O'Neill, age 33, was charged by the Los Angeles County District Attorney with one count of attempted murder, two counts of assault with a deadly weapon, one count of criminal threats, one count of brandishing a knife, and one count of battery. O'Neill, who has had a history of drug and legal troubles, allegedly began his attacks on Passerby May 2nd and continued through May 5th in Venice Beach and Palms neighborhoods. So he was basically going through and doing this throughout the the area it wasn't just like one person he was going after multiple people this is he allegedly attacked a number of people who made eye contact with him he is accused of stabbing a venice man on in the side on may 4th then later that night allegedly stabbing another man numerous times by area both victims sustained serious injuries on friday o'neill was arrested following an armed robbery after he was identified as a suspect in a 7-eleven stick up police said Officers noted O'Neill matched the description of the suspect in every case. Red hair with distinctive tattoos. O'Neill remains in custody at the Los Angeles County Jail. Now, when I was um when I was uh, sent this story, uh Laverne Merriweather, who uh told me about it, said that the uh person in question, these uh this Redmond O'Neill. Let me let me see if I can find. They said that uh, they said the people on Inside Edition were calling him troubled. Um, I don't know many troubled people that would do this, but because he's white and and because of who his parents are were in the case of Farrah Fawcett, because she's no longer alive, they're going to throw that privilege card on him so hard. I mean, this guy went around the neighborhood just stabbing people and almost killing them those the two guys that he killed 
are lucky to be alive, but based on their injuries, especially the one he st- that they say he stabbed multiple times, I'm shocked that they're even still breathing. So he must have missed a major artery, but did enough damage for them to have to stay in the hospital for a few days. But this guy is your, here's your, this is your thug right here. But they're not going to call him that because of who his parents are. And because at the end of the day, he is a white male living in America. Had this been a black guy, whether his parents were famous or not, let's say Denzel Washington's son did this. John Washington did this. Oh, no more roles. His character will be done off of ballers. They probably wouldn't release the movie Black Klansman. It it would be a wrap. Like, everything is just done. And then they'll probably try to do a sneak attack on Denzel's career. Then they'll question Denzel and Paul Letter Washington's parenting and the whole nine. Are they going to question Ryan O'Neal's parenting? Are they going to go to Farrah Foster's grave and ask her, um, was she a good mother to her son? Although that's a question they didn't even ask back then when he had legal troubles years ago. So why even bother asking that now? But like I said, had it been a black child or a black uh, son or maybe even daughter of a famous person, they would they they would question the parents of like whether they were good parents or not, because they love to say that black parents are bad parents. Even though I can provide you plenty of stories proving that there are plenty of bad white parents. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that his parents did a bad job of raising him because at the end of the day, you can only do so much by your child. But once they they get on their own, they're on their own and whatever decisions they make is solely on them. But some children will be slick and say, well, my parents did this and this to me to try to take the heat off of them. And it also doesn't surprise me because he grew up in a life of privilege. I'm sure he got away with a lot of stuff. I mean, his parents were famous actors. So that doesn't surprise me either. But either way, he's a thug nonetheless. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next one.